wind force start rocking the house inside. We of course um, was monitoring it, we were listening to the news and we thought that it would not be as bad. When I came up in the morning to look around, I, didn't, I, I couldn't recognize the place. Right? Everything was destroyed, totally. Yeah, but I don't think there's any coming back from that experience aftermath for a long time. I came, I look out, I told him, then I told him, Gucci, everything is gone. Everything is gone. The aim of our legacy project really is to provide socioeconomic support to those individuals in the impacted states that are deemed vulnerable. The legacy project has essentially been financed from the wonderful contributions received from the private sector, from individuals within the diaspora and further afield, as well as friendly governments across the globe who have contributed to Sedema's response efforts. Sidima came, they chose me as one and some others to cover. I am very satisfied with what all of Oli do. I, I just don't know how to praise all you. And to speak the truth, I will not never, ever be able to give my mother a new roofing so praise God for all you. If it wasn't for all you, or like now I can, I can be real to you guys, you probably will be still in the temple and them on that still. But God bless man, God bless. Whoever came up with the idea to choose us, it was not a want, it was really a need. Because I stayed on the attack back roof with tarpaulin. And let me tell you something, sometimes when the wind was high, it was like leaving the same thing over because of the tarpaulin making the noise. You know, I cannot pay back, I'll never be able to pay back. So I want to say thank you to those who sponsored the roof. In the case of Antigua and Barbuda, Sedema provided $50,000 to the government of Antigua to deal with the sheltering of individuals who were displaced from the island of Barbuda for over two weeks. The Legacy Project is one of those projects that was very timely. The way it was structured is that um, if you were a single person up to, I think it was up to three in a family, you would get a particular amount. If you were in the middle range, you get a particular amount. And so if your family fall above a particular number of family me members in the family, then you get the, the higher tier. In the Turks and Caicos Island, we provided $70,000 to assist with the educational sector um, in providing support for the restoration on the island of Providenciales. Sedima and your donors, we are grateful for this extraordinary kindness that is evident in your presentation of 88 laptop computers to the TCI, the Ministry of Education, Youth, Culture, and Library Services. In the British Virgin Islands, we provided a total of $140,000 to assist with restoration to the Long Trench Community Centre and also the School for Autism. A very important feature of our legacy project is its link to our resilience pathway, where we focus on several critical pillars for advancing resilience in Sedema member states. The Legacy Project provides direct support to at least two of those pillars. One to Pillar 1, which looks at social protection for the marginal most vulnerable, as you'd have seen. It also supports Pillar 2, which looks at critical infrastructure. In the restoration work we would have done with schools in Turks and Caicos Island, in BVI, and also following the 2010 earthquake in Haiti. All right, I want to thank you all, Sidema, for assisting us in the housing. I, I noticed that there were some contractors that were given the opportunity to, to, to re repair some of the roofs in the Kalinago territory. 
and that we thank you all for that because it shows that um, the economy of the Carib territory can revive when you have people from the community getting employed and, 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 and employing other persons with us. So the houses that were built before, they were not as strong as what is built now. And so we are approaching the hurricane season and I believe that persons or, or persons in the community who have benefited from that pro project are much more comfortable. So it was a wonderful project at the end and I think the, the Carib space is better for it. And what you find is that now persons no longer have to be worried about if they're going to have leaking roofs or if their roof is going to come off during a hurricane. So they have that measure of safety knowing now that their homes are to a standard that is accepted not just locally but internationally. Some of them are even expressing, expressing that they would welcome persons or their neighbours around who are, are not feeling safe at home. Um, to, to come over to their homes. Now that we have the roof, it gives a greater level of um, security in terms of our lives and some of our personal, our personal products. And uh, I guess so too we could maybe help our neighbor. Sidima wishes to thank those donors who would have contributed to our efforts at raising funds not only in response but also providing much needed support. As we look forward, the current and future aspirations of our legacy project will seek to support the all hazards concept as referenced in our comprehensive disaster management strategy, noting that the region is not only vulnerable to climate related hazards but also to seismic shocks, including volcanic eruptions. We also recognize that there are other threats that are facing the region, and as such, in advancing and expanding our mandate for early recovery and reconstruction, the Legacy Project will seek to not only support recovery from all of these hazards, but promote resilience building in our member states.